after everything, you still check in so carelessly. If I were to be honest, I'd tell you that I spent my 26th birthday alone in Kensington. But it turned out to be one of my happiest birthdays. I met a man who wanted to help me bring to life my scripts. I saw another perspective. Five or six, actually. Sober for 260 days. Never thought that would happen, but I always dreamed of it. I'm happy that we're friends now. Though I often think of when you'd look at me, with that smile, which created a new home for me to live within. How I could feel so content, 32 miles west, and yet so scared, because the only other time a man looked at me that way, I was damaged for several years. I told myself it made me stronger, knowing it broke me in many different ways until I built a new normal, which lacked the trust I once had to truly be myself, where I didn't have to think about how I thought, what others thought. And here we are. Every 12 days you ask how I am. The man who hurt me, twice. Who held me, like he not only wanted my company, but needed the warmth of my spirit. I know who I am, how I make you feel. If I act distant, will you love me? Will I reminisce on how I fell in love with the idea of you after only several seconds? And will I ever discover the truth behind my desire for companionship with you? When I'm so content taking the wheel, no navigation, no crew. For now, I wander by the trees and read, because perhaps I'll connect to something more important.